There has been such a problem lately in the indie game scene with every dev over-promising and under-delivering. But somehow, I was lucky enough to get invited to a closed playtest of a game called Body Cam, along with four Steam keys for my friends to join in on the fun, and one key that I gave to a viewer for all the support he shows this channel. So shout out to you, Offshore. Glad I could give back and take you on this unreal experience with us. Hope you enjoyed it. This game has changed the way I look at realistic first-person shooters forever. What's up, Tactical Gamers? Today, we're diving deep into the game that's literally redefining the boundaries of realism in gaming. It's called Body Cam. And even though it's still in its pre-alpha stage, what this game promises is nothing short of revolutionary. Surprisingly developed by two French developers aged 17 and 20, I had low hopes for this game. Let's just say, small dev teams, let alone this young, have not been delivering as of late. But using Unreal Engine 5, I was hoping Body Cam might finally show us it's what next-gen gaming can actually look like. But did it deliver? Well, let's take a look. At the very heart of Body Cam is the ambition to push the limits of realism and photorealistic gaming. Thanks to Unreal Engine 5, it exceeded every expectation I had. The graphics are nothing short of mind-blowing. There is no trickery or reshading like 90% of these early access games coming out. What you see here is what you get. A crazy photorealistic experience where you almost feel like you're in a game playing VR. What's equally impressive is the audio. Starting with the most important aspect of audio in a game that will be competitive FPS is directional audio. And like most of the aspects of this game, so far, the devs have nailed it. I could clearly hear when an enemy was above or below, all coming from the left and right. But equally as important for me, as I'm less competitive, is how detailed the sound was. The gun sounds, explosions, footsteps, and ambient sounds were on point. From crunching of glass under your feet to wind howling in your ears when you're outside, the audio adds to one of the most immersive experiences I've had in an FPS game. But what about the gameplay? Well, this is where it gets a little tricky and I have mixed motions about. The first time I played, I couldn't even keep my gun centered on the screen. Move the mouse a tiny bit and everything moves with crazy inertia. Trying to aim feels like you're oversteering your car. The weapon movement is crazy. If you're moving at all, it's virtually impossible to get a sight picture on iron sights. Some may say it's more realistic, but I can tell you from experience doing CQB, I can keep a weapon a lot more stable in real life than I can in this game. As the rounds progressed, I started to find some rhythm and it began to feel a lot more natural. Within a couple of hours, I was completely used to it and didn't feel almost motion sick as it swayed back and forth. Although I began to get comfortable with it, I think there will need to be some work on balancing this inertia or I just don't think it's going to appeal to the masses. Death animations are a thing of beauty in this game, some of the best I've ever seen. Every kill looks smooth and immersive and time to kill is fast so there is no face tanking opponents. Weapon animations I feel are lacking a little bit. I don't know if it's from the body cam viewpoint or the animations aren't that good, but I found myself sometimes hitting reload and because of the weapon sway and movement I couldn't really see if I had reloaded. Look up. Look up. Oh, he killed me! <laughs> now, customization is nearly non existent, which I'm sure they will introduce as the build progresses, but for now, you can change between a few helmets and hats and a few different uniform colors. Loadouts are completely non existent, so you will spawn in with random weapon each time which I kind of enjoyed as I got to experience a lot of different weapon feels, which some of them were the most realistic I've ever felt in a game. Now, my biggest concern of this game is replayability. While I've played it for a few hours and I'm absolutely loving it, there is no roadmap, or one that I've seen anyway, where it details the future of the game. Without some form of decent progression system, I feel the novelty will wear off and the players will begin to leave. But shout out to the devs, man. Thank you for this opportunity to experience what I feel is the future of gaming. This was an incredible experience. If you enjoyed the video, please help the channel and drop a thumbs up. And if you want to stay up to date with the latest shooters, Join the best community in gaming and hit that subscribe button. I'm Timmy Tenders, stay tactical, and I'll see you in the next one.